Welcome back. I'm Marie Zeitner with the Reaver Beat. It's back again, bigger and better than ever before. Casino Night is a way to say thanks to students for being committed to Iowa Western. IWTV student Shanti Shakanoza shows us the fun in games. The money might be fake, but the prizes are real. Whether students choose to play a table game or a lottery game, the purpose is to have a good time. Students are trying their luck at roulette, blackjack and craps. They are also enjoying good food and an exciting atmosphere. Uh, it's really fun. I've won a lot of money so far and I'm um, having a good time. Tonight's night's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, there's a lot of people here and it makes it even more fun. So I don't know how to play any of the games, but everybody's making it seem a lot of fun. This is the fifth annual casino night put on by the Student Life Center. Every year, organizers try to make it more fun and try to get more students to join in on the fun. It's a great way to have them come out and support you know, what we do and, and it's good because it's close to the end of the year so the students get to go home with a nice prize. This fun evening will leave students with good memories, some with real prizes, but everyone comes out a winner. I'm Shanti Shachnoza. Thanks, Shanti. Some Iowa Western students getting their diplomas this spring are the first to graduate with a new degree. In the Design Technology program, the students are using a special tool to help them actually hold their own ideas in their own hands. River Bead travels to Atlantic, Iowa for this special story. On the outside, it looks like a strip mall, but inside, it's a classroom full of ideas for the future. There is no real limitation on where these students can work. The latest technology currently used in some Fortune 500 companies is right here on the Iowa Western campus in Atlantic, Iowa. One of the biggest breakthroughs in technology now has been the ability to take a 3D model that we make through a CAD software, computer-aided drafting software, and to generate a 3D model on the printer. A 3D printer, the first in Southwest Iowa being used every day. Joe Vanstrom heads the program, preparing students like Tony Pross for the workplace. The reason I wanted to get into this field, the design, is because uh, there's actually jobs out there. Jobs with well-known companies who are looking for students with this kind of experience. Big companies like Winnebago and Cuit and Rockwell Collins working with Iowa Western. Design technology is supposed to allow students to take any avenue they want after they're done with their career here. They're learning how to turn their ideas into something real. First, using computer software, then sending it to the 3D printer. Plastic string is what the 3D printer uses to make objects like these. One project the students are working on is building a real bike frame, a bike that can endure any kind of road and weather conditions in Iowa. It was a couple weeks of investigating what we thought would, would work best. That's one of the ways that we teach our students to design a part, but design it smart. By the end of the semester, the students will have a complete bike with pedals, handlebars, tires, and brakes. And I'm going to be riding it to test the, the actual structural integrity of the bike. The 3D printer allows students to see their work in action, and it's a testament of what their future holds with a design technology degree. Anything that you can think, anything that you can dream, we can design and build it for you. Everyone is invited to come out to the program's open house and senior showcase in May. The class will also be testing the bike it created from the software and 3D printer. Well, the hard work of some Iowa Western students is paying off. Members of the Honor Society Phi Theta Kappa are being recognized for their commitment to the community. I talked with advisors of the organization to get a preview of the ceremony for these intelligent students. April 30th will no longer just be known as the last day of April. For Iowa Western, it will soon be known as Phi Theta Kappa Day. The campus is going to honor them with a reception with the faculty, administration, the members of Phi Theta Kappa, and the student body, including the mayor of Council Bluffs. Members of Phi Theta Kappa have achieved a five-star award something that's never been done at Iowa Western. We set a goal to be four-star this year, and we just had some students who worked really hard and ended up achieving that five-star status. The organization achieved this award by doing community projects, and by focusing on recycling at Iowa Western, it also received a Distinguished Theme Award. 
Everyone is invited to the Phi Theta Campus Ceremony on April 30th at 3 in the Reaver Room. Council Buffs Mayor Tom Hannafan will be at the event declaring April 30th Phi Theta Kappa Day. And check out the Reaver Beat Facebook for all campus activities. For the Reaver Beat, I'm Marie Zeitner. See you on campus.